Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Flexini system from Westcott. So let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, it's time to talk about Flexini. And I've been using the Flex system since the original 10 inch mat here, which still actually gets used by me on certain jobs. So there's that, then it evolved. And for me, it's been the bicolor mats. I have uh, one by ones and one by twos. They added the Velcro here, which really started to expand the usability of this whole system when you're using Scrim Jim Cine because you can attach it to frames, then put soft boxes on there, yokes, all kinds of other stuff. And that's definitely part of what we're gonna be uh, using with this evolution of the whole Flex system. I do wanna point out that one of the things that I do love about Flex is that these mats have a lifetime warranty and they are pretty heavy duty, IP64 rated, so out in the rain, not a problem. Uh, but for me, one of the things, where is it? Oh, here it is, hold on. That um, I did and didn't like about the previous version of Flex was you had this little dimmer, great, it's small, but when you started to look at the cabling and everything and extend it, it got a little spaghetti in terms of everything. And for me, I really wanted to make sure that, and I always wanna make sure that when I'm using products that they are designed for day in, day out, take a beating. And I really didn't have any problem with the previous system, but if you take a look now at the new system here, I mean, take a look at this. The cabling is just a lot beefier all around in terms of the connectors. Um, it's next level, let's just be honest. Uh, it's designed to get thrown onto a truck. I could see these being in rental houses and that's all a good thing. But before I go any further, I just wanna explain how it all works, backwards, forwards compatibility, and then we'll concentrate on talking about the mats and then this brand new Flex Cine DMX dimmer. Uh, this stuff just dropped, so I'm super excited about this. So let's take a look at the compatibility part when it comes to your existing flex lights, if you do have them. Uh, again, one by one bicolor. We can adapt to this heavier duty, beefier cabling system here because they've actually, actually right off the bat, they have an adapter cable here, so that just attaches. And then you can take these extension cables, this one is 16 foot. It's a beast of a cable, which is a good thing. And what I'm gonna do right now is actually just turn off this dimmer unit, which is currently attached to this one by one RGBW unit. And I'm gonna plug this in, and then we're gonna talk about some interesting stuff, just so that you kind of understand how the system works. So this battery is coming off. I'm gonna talk about this in a minute. This battery system is really for RGBW. And here, 14.4 volt. If you're driving the older mats here that are not RGBW, you can actually attach to the dimmer a 14.4 battery. Boom, turn it on, and we can drive this unit here. And it will pop up in a second. And here's the thing. This dimming unit is completely intelligent when it comes to flex. So it knows what mat is being attached and what you can and can't do with that mat. And then you go into this little control system here. It's kind of like a D-pad. So you've got arrows left, right, up, down, and then the OK button. So if you press the OK button here, it will go up one level. And then I press it again, and then I go to the top level here. And you can see I can assign my DMX address. We'll talk more about that in a minute. We can go into our modes, which are our lighting modes. We can go into configuration, and then you can also have presets. So if I go into mode here, we can see that there are a whole bunch of different choices. And I'm just gonna go into bicolor right now. And you can see that I can increase or decrease the intensity, and then I can go in here and change the Kelvin temperature. 
So other choices obviously available to us, but if I just back out of there again, and I go down to RGB W I for intensity, you'll see that it won't actually go into that menu because I have a bicolor mat attached to the system. Okay, let's turn that off. Unplug this, the bicolor goes bye-bye. And by the way, if you're buying a bicolor mat going forward, it will have the more robust cabling for this particular dimmer unit, which is a universal dimmer now, as I said, for Flexini and all of these mats. Now, when we get into the RGBW stuff, bye-bye to the 14.4 and hello to the 26 volt battery. Now, why is that? Well, people think that LEDs don't produce a lot of heat. LEDs produce a lot of heat and that heat has to go somewhere. So you see a lot of the fixtures that are not flexible will have fans in them or they'll have ginormaloid heat sinks. Can't do that here, so they had to think about the whole power distribution. We get 26 volt batteries to drive these mats. It solves the problem. Uh, and by the way, you'll see this antenna here. That's gonna get into the wireless part. And I am just going to now plug in this one by two mat and show you a couple of other features which are exactly the same on the one by two except for the mat is larger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on and very similarly to the bicolor mat here, we're gonna take a look at the menu and I'm going to step back one level. Let me just hold that down. And we're gonna go into and we can see that we have gels, RGBWI for intensity, bicolor, we have daylight. We also at the top, you probably saw, we have source matching. So we can just cycle through all of those. So if we go into RGBWI and go into that, we basically can just increase each of our red, green, and blue channels on the unit. And then we can also change the overall intensity of how much it's outputting. I can step out of there. I can go into source matching. So when we go into source matching, you can see here that we have all of these different options which match either a Kelvin temperature or a particular type of light fixture. Step out of there and we can go into gels and you can see in gels we have Lee Technicals. Those are really right now for just plus minus green. I'm assuming because this USB port is for firmware updates that we'll see additional functionality get added in the future. And then we have Lee colors here, which we can cycle through and also change the intensity of. So lots of functionality there in terms of that kind of stuff. Okay, now let's get into the real nitty gritty because this dimmer unit is very, very powerful, not only backwards, forwards compatible in terms of the way it's designed, but it is DMX in and out, hardwired. But this is where the secret sauce is right here, which is the Wi-Fi control. And that's all built into this unit. So what I can do is I can set up my dimmer unit as either a host or a client, or I can turn it off if I'm not using the Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm gonna set this one up to the host, hold down the button for a couple of seconds here. And this particular unit is actually attached to another dimmer down there. And that one is actually using AC power. So you'll see here, it's just V-mount. It just pops onto the back and then you just plug this into your mains. So you do have AC power options, of course, for these as well. So now that I've actually set this up as the host, this is now gonna create essentially an ad hoc Wi-Fi network for our entire system. And that's when the fun begins in terms of the apps. Let me actually make sure that I am going into the mode that I want inside of here. I'm gonna go into RGBWI. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and open up my app here. This is Luminaire. And this is actually used by lighting directors and a lot of people to wirelessly control DMX controllable lights. And I'm gonna go in and create a brand new project here just so you can see how this works. 
And I'll go in and we'll call that, let's just call that uh, Flex, I guess, would be a good name for this first one. So here we go. I'm trying to do this at a weird angle here. There we go, Flex. Okay. Now I have my Wi-Fi on. There I hit the plus sign here. So let's just go ahead and do that, plus sign. And I'm going to set this up as a DMX fixture. And upon shipping, as of right now, with this brand new system, we can say select profile or select a profile, and Westcott is already in here. So you say Westcott, you say Flexini DMX dimmer. I'm going to choose that, and then I'm going to choose which mode I want to use in there. I'm going to say RGBW. And then I basically have to say what DMX address I have. Now, here's the thing to understand. I have two mats here, this one on here, and then this one down there. This one is set to DMX001, and this one is set to DMX006. Why are they so far apart? Well, when you are using RGBW and intensity, you actually need to have five channels just for that. So um, that one, DMX channel one, and then I have color and I have intensity. So you can see that that's starting to control that. Now, if I want to control this other mat, now I'm going to go over here and say plus another profile, Westcott, dimmer, RGBW, that's to DMX6, done. I get a couple more faders here, and guess what? Now I am controlling both of these mats and these dimmer units from Luminaire. And it gets kind of crazy over here when you start to get in here because you can start to go in and you can start to dial in your colors. You can go in here and edit, and there are effects inside of the app. This is a paid app that you have to get. It's a third-party app. And I can go in here and let's just choose, ooh, I don't know. We'll choose random intensity. And you can see that it'll do that. And then I'll change the rate of that random intensity. We have fire in here and I can change how much it flickers uh, or how little it flickers. And you can see that I am controlling this mat here independently again of the other mat. So if I wanted to, I could go into the other mat here and change its color or I could go in and apply effects to that particular mat. So I could go in and change that to an oscillator. Wow, that's quite a lot there. And you can see that there's a lot of control over that. So this is kind of a sneak peek of Flexini and what this system can do. Um, I think the thing to remember is that flexible LED units are not something that everybody has seen. They are brand new to some people. I just did a workshop about a week and a half ago and people in my class saw these mats and it was like poof, unbelievable to them in terms of how flexible, no, well pun intended, these systems are. But for me what's exciting about it is the rest of the ecosystem because you have grids, you have Scrim Jim Cine that you can attach to, there are softbox solutions, there are yokes, and so rigging these things are uh, virtually limitless in terms of what you can do with them. And they've taken their time to not be the first to market with this, but I think this is a, a very, very well thought out system that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility overall in terms of what you can do. I'm excited about it. I'll have these uh, at B&H on October 15th. If you're watching this before then, I will be doing a 4 to 6 p.m. presentation up in the event space. So if you are in New York, please come by for that and you can check out this whole system. And then next week in my lighting workshops, I will have the brand new Flexini system in those as well. And then again, they will make them uh, make their way into a lot of the videos that I do in the future. Just remember that our digital cinema camera systems are capable of capturing color gamut. Um, I probably have to turn off that effect there. It's just getting a little annoying. Um, you know, our 
camera systems are capable of capturing color gamuts that are far wider than the displays are that we have right now. But we're moving towards P3, Rec 2020, and that's where these tools will really make a difference overall in terms of how we can use these tools creatively in our productions. Um, subscribe to the channel if you like the content here, and I will be digging more into this in the future. Check out the links below the fold to find out more about Flex Cine and this entire ecosystem. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.